With the news that Affinity is now free and that they've made a slew of new updates, I really wanted to have a crack. If you aren't familiar with Affinity, this is Canva's answer to Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop and InDesign, all rolled into one app. And with Adobe increasing their price to $113.49 a month, the fact that Canva has made Affinity free forever is absolute tea. So in this video, I'm going to download Affinity and boot it up for the very first time. And I'm gonna test it by making a logo. And we're gonna identify some pros and cons along the way. The logo that I'm making today is a rejected design from a previous client that I'm now pretending is for a meditation app called Return. This meditation app client that totally exists wanted a yin and yang style logo that feels calming and contemporary. So enjoy watching my struggle as I try to bring this beautiful design to life. The main difficulty that I'm having at the moment is that I'm actually not great with the pen tool. I am more of a curvature. Is that what it's called? I use this one more than anything. So I need to find out if there is a curvature tool in Affinity. Shit. They say that every obstacle is an opportunity to grow. Oh. So this was my opportunity to improve my pen tool game. All good. I eventually arrived at an outcome that sufficed. Tools down. That's, that's as good as I'm gonna get. I can still see little imperfections, but it's just gonna take me forever to get it perfect. So that's gonna be good enough. I'm just gonna fix this. No. Nope. I'm just gonna fix that. <laughs> oh God, yeah, look at this. Ugh. God, what is going on there? A lot of the keyboard shortcuts are the same, which I appreciate. Like A takes you to that node selection tool. It's very handy for, it eliminates some of the learning curve. If you pardon the pun. <sighs> I said sufficed. Good enough is not what my fake client is paying for. Eventually we did get there. Then I just needed to touch up my gradient. I'm a logo designer. Of course I'm gonna add gradient. Filters, noise. That's hot. <laughs> I like it. Then all that was left was to create my word mark. I'm starting to love this tool because you can just drag it to the height that you want straight away. That's so useful but I couldn't find any kerning capabilities, which is gonna freak some of the type nerds out. Oh. But it didn't stop me. I don't exactly know how to kern, aside from saying tighten and loosen, but that is a-okay because I'm going to convert it to shapes anyway, and then ungroup it, because I wanna edit this, and then I also wanna change the kerning. So as you can probably tell, I've done a similar treatment on this R than I did of the yin and yang. And I think that's pretty good. I thought that that was groundbreaking type treatment in the moment. Oh well. All right, I think I'm happy with that. That's a good first logo to start with. It's pretty challenging, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed this user interface. I enjoyed that experience. So it's safe to say that I enjoyed Affinity, but seriously, I think that this is a really big step by Canva and the core Affinity team. Adobe has had a monopoly on all sorts of digital creatives for as long as I can remember. 
So I think the fact that there's some serious competition is gonna really light a fire under them. And I should say that this is not a slander piece on Adobe at all. I'm just excited to watch both tools get better so that we as designers can benefit. There's enough division going on in the world as it is. We don't need it coming over to our peaceful graphic design haven. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know. This video is a little bit of a tester. I really enjoyed making this. So if you enjoyed it, please stick around. Cheers.